Well, hello once again, this is Jose Rodriguez back with another video. And this time I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the Canon Pro 100 driver. This is the Windows driver. The Mac driver is a bit different. You would have to learn how to use that Basically, I'm going to give you some of the tools that are available in this driver that you may not know actually exist. When you first open the driver, by right-clicking on your printer icon and printer preferences, you will arrive at this window. Quick setup. This is for your printing. We all know how to use that. You pick up your paper choice, your quality. If you're going to print through an ICC profile, you click on this and then matching and then none. So that's all the basic color management things that you would have to do to be able to print. The next tab will lead you over to the media type, paper source, high quality. Basically about the same thing here. You can pick black and white photo print if you would like to print your color images to black and white. Page setup. This gets you over to all of the different layouts that you can actually have the driver control and you can create your own specific sizes of paper and we will not get into that in this little video because I want to get into some of the lesser known available tools that are in the maintenance tab. Your first icon will be for cleaning and this basically just cleans your head whenever you run a nozzle check and you have a few areas missing you would want to go ahead and run a cleaning cycle because you would not want to print on your Canon printer if you are missing some nozzles if some nozzles are clogged but there's a little bit of air in the chamber you will need to clear that out remember the Canon printers are thermal based the heads are thermal and they use ink as a coolant without that liquid ink your head will overheat burn up and die we wouldn't want that to happen okay so if your colors that are missing fall in any of these two categories you can actually just do group one or group two if you have little missing areas in every single color, then I would recommend you would run a cleaning cycle on all colors. You would hit execute and wait for it to finish. If you really need a deep cleaning, you would go ahead and use this option. This actually will waste a lot more ink. It's basically the same interface, but this is a lot stronger, uh, almost a pressurized cleaning cycle. Now, when you initiate your printer, you would run a print head alignment and you would insert two pieces of paper preferably a good quality coated paper not a cheap you know like a xerox type paper you want paper that is coated because it's going to print the alignment little blocks and then a sensor internally is going to read that and if you have cheap paper that tends to wick away ink the sensor will not be able to tell what are the good blocks and what are the blocks that are not so good in other words if you've done a manual alignment you know what I'm talking about so you would want to put in preferably a couple of sheets of glossy paper go ahead and sacrifice that paper because you will need to align that print head when you are initializing your printer for the first time and you might want to do that every once in a while if you remove the head for soaking and cleaning or whatever you may do and then you reinsert it you will want to definitely run a print head alignment and you do that here nozzle check so this is what you should be running at least once a week or before any important print job you would run your nozzle check okay now here are some maintenance tabs that you can use which actually do some pretty good things bottom plate cleaning prevents paper smudges during printing if you are getting smudges go ahead and run this it will ask you starting bottom plate cleaning to prevent paper smudges during printing this operation requires one sheet of A4 or letter size plain paper and follow these directions to execute the bottom plate cleaning remove the paper from the paper tray or the rear tray fold it in half vertically and then unfold the paper with the ridge of the crease facing down load the paper in landscape orientation in the rear tray click execute that little ridge that you create will actually wipe the bottom plate roller cleaning a lot of people will complain that they've been using fine art paper for a while and now the rollers are simply not grabbing the paper properly or the feed mechanism seems to be failing but basically it's because you have rollers full of dust 
find our paper sheds all kinds of little fibers everywhere and so that little cloud of fibers and dust that collects inside the printer falls right on those sticky rollers and so you need to have them clean and the way to do that again is just simply by running this utility you can use the rear tray or the manual feed tray whichever one is causing problems cleaning paper feed rollers for the rear tray first remove paper from the rear tray and then open up the paper output click ok to activate paper feed rollers 30 times this will take about three minutes do you want to start feed roller cleaning and you hit ok that actually works wonders i've had a couple of people who have successfully eliminated the feed problems they were experiencing now if you want the to power off the printer externally remember we pro 100 owners know that our printers have wi-fi this allows you to have the printer somewhere in the house and you can power it off from your computer. Now auto power allows you to set a power setting where the printer will actually turn off after a certain amount of time. Quiet setting, set the time that you want the printer to run quiet. Basically what it does, it just reduces the speed that the printer prints with, okay? So it actually reduces the noise that it creates. So after certain hours, you know, you would want to run that if you really want to do that. I really don't care. There's no one down in my print room, so I never use that this is interesting this is one where you finally can actually adjust physically adjust something within the printer itself okay if for those who print on discs you can have that on and i don't but i have it on anyway that's the default prevent paper abrasion if you have paper that is not perfectly flat in other words it might be curling or cupping somewhere and some of the more artsy non-rc papers may suffer from that you may end up having part of the paper rise a little bit too high and the underside of the print head may strike it may actually physically touch it the head is not supposed to touch the paper but it can happen and when it does that it makes a nice black smudge across that print so this actually increases the distance slightly and so it will possibly maybe prevent paper abrasion now this is where you can actually align your head manually instead of using the auto setting and then if you have this set it will actually detect paper width now sometimes you may not want to do that so i always leave it off but those of you who want to automatically detect paper width can do so okay here is another adjustment ink drying weight time short or long i have a set in the middle again that controls the speed of the actual physical printing the left to right movement of the head it'll actually wait a little longer to allow ink to dry a little bit better on certain types of paper that require a high level of ink saturation it may come in handy to put it on long and that's basically it those are all the good hidden little gems that are inside our canon pro and other pro level print driver and so you might want to explore those if you're having any kind of uh, little problems such as the ones I described with some of these utilities here. All right. So if you like it, please like it. Please subscribe. Please share. So until the next time, bye-bye and happy printing.